Hey, I'm making this video because someone asked me about uh, an error they were getting using this tool. And I believe it's because they were instructed to use an aspect of this tool, which is NFC tools that might be a little more advanced and, than they thought. So what you want to do is go add a record right here, add a record. And this is this is for the gentleman here, but anyone else that's using NFC tools, you can choose all these options. I suggest not choosing all these options because everything is URL based. So learn to find the URL to what you want and then just put the URL in there and you're good. Now here is where the gentleman was suggested to choose. He was told to use custom URL. OK, but if you look under that, it says add URI record. Now, let's just take a look at what that looks like. I don't know what Git is, do you? I'm out of here. Now, this is what the gentleman did, and it, it actually, he you know went through, wrote his tag, and it didn't work. Well, look above here. It says URL slash URI, and then what does that say? Add a URL record. That's the one that you want, man. That's the one you want. Now, what happens when you click that? All of a sudden, I'm in familiar territory. Choose what's according, you know, what works accordingly. Go with the HTTPS. That means the site is secured. Put in what site you want. We're going to do qrpop.net, which I suggest everyone check out. And then tap on write. Okay. There's the write. Approach the tag. All this stuff you people know how to do, I'm sure. And, oh, error. Maybe because it's already written. No, let's see. We're going to write again. Oh, there we go. Okay, and it's done. If you ever want to see what's on the tag, you can go down here to read and then scan your or tap your uh, tag and it'll show up down at the bottom what's on it. All right, so that's how you use the NFC tools. To me, the best way, if you want to do anything in this world, it's all URL based. It really is. And if you go here, you'll see all these things are just different URLs and the whole world is URL based. But the problem is Google might change how their address looks. So the, the basic thing that they have here may not work. Um, everything here is an app that may not be updated, but the URL, if you can pull it from the web, that's how you know that you have the most current information. All right, everybody, I hope that helps. And uh, remember to check out qrpop.net. Let's see. We'll tap, we'll tap to it right now. And the qrpop.net, that's the future. You wouldn't even have to program anything if you utilize that. So I'll let you check it out on your own, all right? Thank you for watching.